Hi everyone, my name is Yok Huan and I'm the Regional Sales Director of Databricks, managing a team of rockstar sellers who partner with large enterprises across ASEAN to help these customers on their data journey to solve, to solve some of the world's toughest data problems. And with me today, uh, we are very privileged to have a gentleman from Kasikon Business Technology Group, the Chief Technology Officer, Kun Tawan, who will be sharing with us some of his cloud migration and modernization journey that they've been through. Hi, Kun Tawan. Thank you Hi. so much for coming in. Hi, Could your I friend. have you do a short introduction on yourself? Sure. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure being here and, and thank you for inviting us. So my name is Tawan and I'm a CTO of Kasikon Business Technology Group. We are IT company that handle one of the largest uh, bank in Thailand, which is Kasikon Bank. Thank you, Kun Tawan. So let's get started on our fireside chat today. I'm sure the audience would like to find out what exactly are the business drivers that prompted KPDG to explore and kickstart the migration and modernization journey. And at the same time, what were those considerations that KBTG went through before deciding on this migration and also deciding that the modernization is the right way to go? Sure. Uh, as you all may heard this phrase before, uh, data is a new oil. For us, data is not just an oil, it's a crude oil. So it really needs a refining process to make an automobile grade gasoline. It, very, it needs a specific refinement process to create a jet fuel grade gasoline, okay? So as a bank, uh, we, we probably one of the first industry that adopt data warehouse. And then the data get bigger, then Hadoop got introduced. We also the first industry probably that embarking on deploying Hadoop to, to use this as a data warehouse. What, what we see in the past is that Hadoop architecture desires a really, really couple between compute and data. So when we want to, see, when the data is get larger, when we want to scale it, we cannot scale it in an efficient manner. Secondly, in the past, we also have many uh, data repository in, in our shop. We have one warehouse for BI. We have another data lake for AI. Two disparate system. We have many data duplication over the place. So right now we are considering combining them into one lake house. And these are two catalysts that accelerate our migration journey. Okay, thank you. So it does seem that scalability as well as duplication of data, because they're sitting in silo stacks, um, that were some of the things that prompted KBTG to go through with this migration. And when you were doing this data platform selection process, what exactly were the considerations that went through? Sure, there, there's a couple of key factors that we, we take into consideration. First one is we need to simplify. So any platform that we use need to be unify data warehousing and AI use case into a single platform. Secondly, it need to be open. Whatever platform we choose, need to build on open source and open standard. Thirdly, exit strategy. When we embarking on a journey to put our data in certain platform, we need a way that we, that data need to be consumed with different technology when required. The last, lastly, last one, the platform we choose need to be able to deploy in multi-cloud because we are a regional company. So we need a flexibility in deploying one platform across regional operation with one single team to support it. So Databricks is really proud and honored to be working with KBTG in this transformation and cloud migration journey, which brings me to my next question. How did you get to know Databricks and what exactly brought to you to explore Databricks as the platform solution? Um, Actually, I first known Daybreak uh, with my previous work. I used to work in a big uh, automotive uh, company in the US. Uh, at that time, we were looking into finding a solution to do 
uh, machine learning and AI work. So we want to predict uh, the downtime of the system on our, our assembly line because every unplanned downtime that happens, it can cost us in millions. So we do we look at uh, a Spark as a way to do that. So we deploy Databricks even as part of our data engineer and part of their their scientist work. And then when we once we I moved into to Thailand to work for the bank, I I also have seen the great work that David can provide. So I introduced this into the bank to make sure that we can reap the same benefit. Okay, that's amazing. And how would this migration and modernization journey help to support KBTG's business priorities and innovation? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, it provides us with a couple of things. First thing is flexibility and scalability. Cloud migration allows explosion of data. So, and another demand to be met dynamic, dynamically. Secondly, agility. To have one stop shop for data analytics, workflow, allows seamless development and operation, which call data ops, as well as a continuous analytic model, ML ops, which to help us standardizing and then standardize too, so we can process based on source allow consolidation of internal practice, as well as we can better access external candidate pool. That is quite a journey, and I like the way you're thinking of it. And given that KBTG is going through this journey right now, um, with not just data breaks, but also quite a number of other vendors mm -hmm. um, to make up that part of the solution, do you have any stage advice for fellow data leaders such as yourself who are looking at embarking on this journey or already on this modernization journey? Sure. Always experiment, you know. First thing we need to find a cheap and quick way to access both demand, whatever new requirement, new analytic use case, and also supplier, new technology trend, new feature, something that they always offer to us. Then find a way to scale up what works. This has been a journey with Derbic so far with us. Okay, and looking back, are there any tips that KBTG has picked up along the way that you wish someone would have told you before KBTG embarked on this journey? Uh, sure. Uh, I've been working with a big data for a long time. You know, fun, fun, one thing that I wish someone could tell us is that try to optimize the upstream data whenever you can. Because data nowadays cannot be the afterthought anymore. You know, having a clean, well-defined, ready-to-use data is very essential to the, to the success of data analytic projects. If you can help app owner prepare that for you, great. If not, you need a, a strong and optimized ETL and ELT process so that we, you have the clean data for you to use. Another thing is all data is not created equal. There are different grades of crude oil, okay? So you need to classify what data need to be in the lake. You have to create a well defined data structure. And then you try to cleanse data even before ingesting into the lake, if possible. Unless uh, regulatory demand that you need to keep a data in the original format. Lastly, you need a clear retention and archiving policy. With this in place, it will yield that your lake house more usable with a higher performance. And we will also increase your lake house manageability. So one final question, based on what you've shared, it looks like data cleanliness is a key factor um, mm -hmm. for anyone who wishes to embark on this journey. So, mm -hmm. and how has KBTG been doing this? Is it a one-time effort or is it a constant effort that has well, to be constantly looked at? It, it is a constant effort that needs to be looked at. Also, once you have a clean data, another thing that's very important to us that we utilize uh, their big product to do is lineage and catalog. So we know what we have, where the source of data, how the downstream use it. And so we can track data end to end. That is very important to us as well. 
Amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Kuntawan. I'm sure data practitioners out there would have a lot of other questions for you and they should be reaching out to you. Um, I really appreciate you spending this time with us. And yeah. we are again, really honored to be partnering with oh. KBTG on this cloud mm. migration and, and modernization. And thank you again for inviting us to speak in front of thousands of enthusiast data scientists in APEC. Thank you. Thank you.